Hello, hello. And welcome to... I told her... Uh, uh, I've already forgotten the name of the map. It's really, really long. Da -da 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 -da. Told her I needed to go to the bank, but I didn't tell her which one. That's the name of the map. Maybe this book will say as well. It says part of the name. The name's too long for this book as well. CD map by Ouroboros. Sirenix, Butcherberries, and Chinox, inspired by Shimmer Scale Waves, uh, the greatest of renders maps. There are many aquatic organisms, organisms, organisms here and around uh, for CG Resort. We encourage you to fish around. There have even been reports of bizarre stringy objects around. If you find any of these pollutants, for CG claims no liability. Do with them as you wish. Don't change your game mode or use commands to give you an unfair advantage. Do not leave the map boundaries, they are obvious. Do not craft the monument objectives, they can be found and are enchanted. Complete the monument. Play on easy. Okay. Uh, have render distance at at least 12. It is clouds on. Uh, unusual requirement, but okay. Clouds, 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 clouds. Fancy clouds. Only the best clouds. Uh, Trapdoors are all decorative. No need to touch them. Have fun. Thanks to Render and Fawnan for making shimmer scale waves. And thanks to the trout population for agreeing to be fished. Should probably go check out that small island. Okay, I will. Uh, we have a shovel. I spawned directly underneath this island, by the way. Underwater. Uh, had to swim up here. Uh, I'm in adventure mode. Cool. You have a compass. And it points to... Right here. What can this dig? Red sand. It's a fishing rod. Three, in fact. Yeah, maybe I should have kept the durability on that shovel rather than the extra red sand, but never mind. Yeah, I think I know what I'm getting into, because Shimmer Scale. Uh-huh. I know enough to know what I'm going to be doing a lot of. Uh, Hole of Enlightenment. Oh, it's the monument. A uh, backup fishing rod. And a fishing almanac. Lore, catch fish faster, luck of the sea, catch more treasure and less junk. The next pages contain the locations of every pool of water containing wool. Yep. Purple wool, white wool, orange wool, red wool, magenta wool, pink wool. All of the colours. Let's up this away. A bench! And another bench. Uh, a bottle of ink and ink cleanser. Do I want bad luck five? Probably not. Good evening. Now then. Do we reckon are there any wool in this pool of water? You know... Maybe I should try and get lure before I start attempting to do any of this. That would probably be most efficient. Whoop! There is in fact wool here. And I got it immediately. Very nice. 
Uh, am I still in... I'm not in adventure mode here. I'm in survival mode. I wondered if it, they would just make it so that the wall could break glass. But no, I can break glass with anything. Uh, I'm also going to assume that it's one wall per area of water. And not attempt to get that any more wool from there. But I could be wrong. Do we think there are any wool out here? Well, that doesn't work. Hmm. That's just a regular old fish. I could consult the book, but that would be cheating. There's probably wool back over there by that island. dependent on biome, isn't it? Map info. Like, great. I've already read one of those. Most interesting mechanic in the game. Well, I'm not getting anything immediately from there. I don't know how generous the loot tables are. What the odds of fishing up a wool are. I got one right away. But is that just luck? Uh, it does not open from this side. Uh-oh. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, chopsticks with sharpness too. That's a surprisingly simple mechanism. I really like that. Uji Cutter Pro. Uh, what if I put pod in it? Nothing. Trash shoot, do not enter. Probably gonna need to have to enter it. And we have the proper way through that does not involve trampling all over the conveyor belt. Uh, it reviews. Zero out of five, the sushi kept running away. The fish was raw. The best steak restaurant in town. Help, I fell in the trash chute. I've been stuck down there for years. Uh, wow. Establishment name. It's one of the best restaurants around. Me and my wife, partner name, had such a good time. I had a good time with my aunt and my uncle and Gandalf the Grey and Gandalf the White and Monty Python's Holy Grail's Black Knight. This goes on for several pages. This seems like a rather unsanitary place to do some fishing. Also very dark on YouTube. Unexpected. <laughs> thumb twiddle, thumb twiddle, thumb twiddle. Ugh. 
Whatever. Whatever. Uh, what have we got in here? Some sticks. A poisonous potato. Ha uh ha, -huh, the other April Fool's thing of the day. Well, one of them. There's also one must imagine Sisyphus happy map. I've been stuck down here for a while now, I should feel like I should keep a journal to keep myself sane. I encountered a friendly rat today, I named him Fred. He seems to like me a lot. Uh, good for you. And Fred. Gotta be white bull over here, right? If we're going in order. If we're going in order. Surely white bull must be over here. I wonder how the loot tables are done. Whether it's by biome. I forget how Shimmer Scale did it. What was that? Just an ordinary cod? That's not a fish. That's not a fish! As much as you insist that it's a fish, it simply isn't. I do not believe you. Yeah, there's that island over there that looks very interesting. But I feel like I should probably explore all of this first. Uh, random button. It's a sea serpent. With a sea serpent scale. Such ski scale, such sea scale certainly serves sailors seeking speedy sprinting. Nice hat. Precious fish. Uh, sushi bar. Yes. Bathing house. Also, yes. A cake! Mm, that goes back down to the sewer again. Go up this way, or go up that way. Let's go this way. Uh, bottled water processing plant. Do not feed the fish. Do not enter water pipe. This is another strange place to do some fishing. What biome is this? Biome test water plant. Yeah, I think the loot tables are biome dependent. Because that is definitely not a regular biome. Can we even fish in this water? Maybe not. How do I get into the water plant? Uh, do not enter with a bright light. The water needs time to develop. The water is not film. Is 
break glass in case of emergency. Can br can't break glass. Nope, it can't. Management says we can't currently afford proper emergency equipment, so don't cause emergencies. Uh, can I... Well, it's only one slab thick anyway, so I definitely can't fish in there. That's not going to work. Ah, yes. The perfect place to catch fish. Does this even work? How does one get a good fish around here? Uh, yeah, like that. What? It's the turbo incabulator. Oh boy. Uh, choir statistic regeneration oscillator 2, panodermic semi-boloid strator slots 5, manifestly spaced routing brushes, prefabulated amulite base plate 4, uh, pentamatic fan 3, bacteria colony, Pentametric fan 3? I just said that. Uh, one in main hand, inverse reactive current measuring. 100% resistance to ender dragon projectiles. Uh, plus 247% side fumbling prevention. That's very good. Um, I tend to accidentally do a lot of side fumbling, so having a way to prevent that is probably beneficial. Uh, one in offhand, inverse reactive current measuring. Plus 50% side fumbling prevention. Minus 3 charisma. Uh, gonometric data reading. Plus 33.3% sinusoidal deplenaration. Uh, and jump boost 3 in the fish dimension. And then, what accessory slot? But if I can find an accessory slot and put this in it, then I'll get inverse reactive current measuring. 75% side fumbling prevention, 60% sinusoidal deplenaration reduction, and plus 0.025% knockback res. Brilliant. Let's whack that in the offhand for now. At least I'll get some side fumbling prevention from it. bottle. I guess this is a water treatment plant. Makes sense that there would be um, a few things in the untreated puddle of water. I was kind of hoping for some wool, though. Nope. Maybe I'll check back again later. Uh, emergency switch. Are you sure it's an emergency? Are you really sure it's an emergency? 
Lost profit due to state of emergency will be deducted. Ah, I don't even work here. Nice chairs. Clipboard. Wouldn't it offhand look like you should be here? Ah, social engineering one. You hear the skeleton? I do not see the skeleton. No way up there. Hmm. Well, I may still be missing a wall from over here, but assuming I'm not, let's keep exploring around a little. Does one get up there? Like this. Well, I could also fish in these. This is an ever so slightly less dumb place to fish than the minuscule puddle of water from before. I wouldn't go so far as remotely sensible, but it's less unsensible. Still no wool. Solar panels. Home sweet hoem. Any bit more armor. More fish. And what biome is this? Permafrost. This will definitely be a different loot table then. Ice cream? <gasps> Free? Free ice cream? Some good ice cream. It's probably even sea salt flavored. You would think. Frozen fish stick. Migrating towards its summer habitat, the scorching hot pan. I do like all the silly items. Sorry, I mean the, the totally sensible, um, really, really useful, good stuff items. 
They're, they're good. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Totally. Well, maps should do that kind of thing, I think. Just funny, silly loot. It doesn't do anything. It's just fair to be uh, funny. There's definitely a right place for it, though. Like way back in uh, Library of Babel, in the monument storage, I just made a whole bunch of books with silly names. Because it's a library. One would expect the storage area to have a bunch of books. So it did. Are we going to get a wall here, or just a bunch of fish sticks? I may have gotten really, really lucky with that magenta wall, unless it was literally the only thing in the monument loop wall. Unless it turns out that one pool at the monument has all of the wall in it and the entire rest of the map is just fluff. That feels like not an impossibility. A bow. Some arrows. The greatest thing I ever learned is how to climb. Well, the map makers are definitely aware of the uh, the CTMC memes. Oh. What biome is this? Mountain River. See, this is another different biome again. There's loads of them. They're everywhere. I got a bunch of wood that I probably won't find a use for because adventure mode. Salmon. Give man fish day eat, give fish rod man happy. Close enough. Fine needle. Looks like a stick to me. The walls count as treasure. As far as the loot tables are concerned, one would assume so. Because, yeah, that's trash. Uh, the bacteria colony is a fish, apparently. I think if I could find the luck of the sea, that would be really, really nice.
is that a thing that I can acquire from some place? Well, this isn't going to make it easy to even see when I've caught something. I'm going to have to listen to the sound effect, I think. This is a lot of particles. Hey, there's a wall. Coming in hot. Igneous wall. I want to jump all the way down there? Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. What is this building? These are some real nice builds. It's not how... Let's probably dump some stuff in here. Don't need most of this, really. <laughs> Thank you very much. even taking these health potions. I'm not going to need them. Uh, wine cellar. Honey. Honey, more honey, additional honey, further honey, extra honey. And on today's episode of How Does This Make Any Sense At All? Need wool! Barrel aged for three weeks. Let's just throw that one away, it's almost broken. And take a new one. You, you're grey, right? Grey, grey, grey. I guess this being totally in survival mode makes sense in case you misplace a wool. One of them must be pretty far away from everything else because all the chunks have to reload in. Keep track of where I've actually gotten wolves from and where I haven't.
tiny island way up there. Very colourful grass. Uh, what is this? Lower moon pool. As opposed, presumably, to the upper moon pool. And possibly even at the middle moon pool. The moon spring! Some unfathomably high level of jump boost, presumably, or levitation. Uh, is this just going to be the potions? This might just be the potions. That feels like that would make sense, actually. No, there is other stuff as well. There's a mysterious shard. I'll keep going then, in hopes there's wool around here. Another potion. Uh, I'm a fished. Probably an edible. Almost definitely, I would say. Most rock tends to be rather inedible. Yeah, enough of this. I don't see anything down there. It's levitation. Some gold stuff. That's quite high up. I might need to change some of these. Oops. Very unfortunate. I've got no idea why I'm lagging a little as well. That shouldn't be happening. Custom biomes aside, I don't imagine this map has too much complicated stuff going on. I can't get back up if I fall down there.
Any more stuff? I think the rest of it's probably up there. Speaking of lag, since I think we're going to be here for at least a little while, uh, you may or may not have noticed that I have played the Telos Principle. Hooray, cool and all. Uh, the next thing on my list of weekend puzzly games to play was the Telos Principle 2. Turns out my computer can't quite handle this. Um, I can just about run it with all of the very lowest graphical settings. And I could just about run it for about the first two and a half hours with the very lowest graphical settings and OBS. Uh, but get to a rather open section with OBS running... Uh, nope. Crash, 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 de crash. So... I think the problem is I need a newer, better graphics card. This one was on the low to medium end of things four or so years ago. Which means the lower end of things has now surpassed that. So, uh, yeah. Point of this long, rambling train of logic is I'm going to get a new graphics card fairly soon. So I have to decide what I'm going to do with the bits of the task principle 2 that I've already recorded. Because of course with the new graphics card everything's probably going to look a whole lot nicer. I have blind footage of about two and a half hours of content laggy. Which is going to be weird placed up against part three and whatever, where sudden graphical improvement will presumably occur. How long have I been down here? I kind of need to get up there again within five minutes. Hmm. This is inefficient, because now I'm going to have to get an extra potion. I don't want my stuff to despawn. There's also a pool of water right here, as it turns out. Didn't even see it last time. Maybe this will give me an even better potion, and I won't have to chain them. Or perhaps it will give me chorus fruit. Hmm, I definitely wouldn't call that a fish, but okay. Who am I to judge? And what happened to the rest of my armour? If it isn't up here, and it isn't down there. I 
Maybe everything is a fish. Maybe I'm a fish. Or maybe I'm a bucket. Stunly parable joke. Maybe I'll get a fish in a bucket at some point. That will probably happen during this map. Catch the entire bucket. Maybe the bucket itself will be a fish. A fish inside a bucket that is also somehow a fish. Is this just giving me chorus fruit? I don't think I can get way up there with chorus fruit, can I? Can I? I am unfamiliar with how chorus fruits work in relation to the vertical distance. Hello, what's this? A better potion. Presumably that will get me way up there without having to chain anything. Question is, is there a wall in this pool of water? Also, I've lost the book now that tells me what water has stuff in it. That's two potions. Uh, let's see what happens. Yeah, I cannot actually eat the ammo fished. Calculated. Feather falling seven. Yeah, I didn't consider how I was going to get back down again. That's very useful. Uh, that wasn't a very good throw. First try. And this is the white wall, so the objectives are definitely not in their regular order. Because I definitely don't think this... This was the one that the player is anticipated to get first. How come it suddenly got dark? Uh, this pool of water is just going to contain wool, isn't it? Hmm. Igneous, I think, gave me the wool straight away. The monument pool gave me the wool straight away. Do pools of water with wool only have wool in them? Hmm. I wonder if that means this doesn't have any wool in it at all, because I th think every time I've gotten a wool from a pool of water, it's been the first thing that I've gotten out of that pool of water. 
So maybe that just means this doesn't have any wool in it, and neither does the stream, and neither does the water processing plant. Might have to go multiple times when I get wool out of something. To see if I keep getting wool. Uh, can I make it to water from here? Don't think so. Well, that didn't get me down. Uh, no, not quite. Well, let's run on the assumption that all the pools that have wool are going to give me the wool straight away. Because that would be very convenient. I don't suppose there's a spare almanac book anywhere. Hopefully I won't need to use it anyways. Pirate Cove. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Come on, fish. Go, fish. Go, fish. Not the card game related term. Golden tooth. Well, that disproves that argument. That was wool, and that pool of water had other things in it. Bah. Uh, use a ladder. This is not ladder. Where is a ladder? Ladder is not here. Stolen royal wool. This is a ladder. Yep, that's a ladder. This pops back out over here. I've been here. Right, but still really like some lore or some luck of the sea then. Eggs, kelp, food. Uh, the armor that I already have.
What did I leave my boat? Does this count as a separate pool of water? Washed away? Probably. Some muscle. It's another muscle. It's another one. And some driftwood. Ever check that barrel? No. And I think this might be slightly better. So if the wall counts as treasure and not fish, uh, might not actually help that much. What is that item? Can I eat that? I can. But it does not do very much. Another one that I might just give up on for now. Because I'm not sure if there's even anything here that I want anyway. And if there is, I'm not getting it. I'm just getting driftwood and mussels. Purple wool. Right in the middle. I'm tempted to see if I can find the map border, because it said it would be obvious and I haven't seen it yet. It's unbreakable. It's mending. It's the same thing, basically. What is that over there? Just a bunch of cherries floating in the water? Is that the cherry island? Uh, I found the border. It's literally a world border.
Not sure you really needed the do not leave the map boundaries then, because it isn't even possible. Oh boy, pink. Tomato soup. Yeah, that was close. Wrong fruit. Tomatuna. Hello, I'm Ori, I'm one of the head honchos who made this map. Congrats for finding my dev item. I made most of the items, texture pack, and data pack stuff. I hope you're enjoying the map so far. Hooray. Look, they're literally in the chat right now. It's at the top left of your screen. Hooray! Tomato juice. Or is it tomato juice? And who cares? Uh... Tomatoes. Tomatoes. Potatoes. Potatoes. I managed to catch two at once there, somehow. This must have wool in it. And it must be the red wool. Because I've already got orange and nothing else makes it any sense at all. Come on, red wool. Come on, red wool. What does the tomato juice even do, I wonder? Uh, oops. Golden tomato. It's a different variety, not actually golden. This is not giving me any wool. But there must be wool here. There simply must be. That, oh, there's a trader somewhere who will trade this golden tomato. There's the wool. The book is gone. The book was not waterproof and fell into the water and all the pages smudged. Aha, uh -huh, that's what happened. Ooh. An even better fishing rod. Weapon. I have the axe. 
the two blunt to break glass emergency axe. Uh, it's not even break anything. Don't see anything on that layer. hear something. I hear the ground, to be exact. Uh, don't purple pillar death. I will try not to. Juice is saturation. Hey, look, there's the purple pillar death. Oh, I see. Is this actually. Hmm. Not sure if that's actually going to spawn a warden or not. Let's not find out. Step away from Purple Pillar of Death. Mm, question is, where do I get water around here? see one possible candidate, but of course it's risky if it turns out that there isn't water down there. Or it could just be right here. I was wondering if there was water under the lava. I'm gonna say probably not. So this is presumably the fishing rod that I really, really wanted. The one that will give me wool more easily. Pretty fairy. Don't what? Hey! Hey, listen! Hey! Listen! Listen! Hey! Hey, listen! Hey, listen! Hey! Don't that. Is that what I'm donting? I'm not sure what else I'd be donting. Diamond wool. Almost missed that. Got some food. Fish in here. I don't think I can fish in here. It's only deep ocean anyway. There's no point fishing in here. Is there any wool in this the regular old deep ocean?
Uh, I'm going to say probably not then. We have only a woolly puffer fish. On the second thoughts, reading that item name, I think I have an idea of what to do with this. Why, hello there. I think you go in here. Yep. And I can probably get a few other things from around here now that I have this fishing rod. And don't have to rely on the RNG. This is going to speed things up a bit. The speedrun strat is definitely just to rush that. Light grey. Uh, cyan. Red. 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 Yellow is over there. Right. I thought I just saw a trident. No, thank you. Do not want. Come on, come on. Not today, please. Okay, that's not a wall. That is a thing. What does holding it actually do? Give us a whole bunch of armor. Okay. The thing to quickly double check is this ball of water. Any wool in here? I guess it's also possible there could be wool and this in that loot table. I doubt it. Okay. Uh, somehow that guy died in the boat. Sure. Let's not question it.
Okay, it looks like it might just be the four things in each cardinal direction from the center island. Nothing in the corners. Signs? Law? How do I even get up there? It's an actual dungeon. Uh, final, final area, Black Wall, Streaming Citadel of Dark Shadows, difficulty 11 out of 10. Mm, looks like someone's already been through here. This is very classic black dungeon. Everything is bedrock, though. El Clasico map. El Clasico dungeon. Old school black area. Click to unlock shortcut. Y yep, it was already unlocked. The gasp. It is gone. And there's a collapsed nether portal. But I can fish in portal room. Disadvantage of using this fishing rod is I don't get to see any of the other cool junk or fish items. I'm only going to get the wolves and anything else a designated treasure. Come on then. Getting caught on the side of blocks. How did I manage to fish in the one by one tiny holes and I'm not catching anything here? This should definitely work. Emphasis on the should. There we go. Uh, Crimson Tail. I want to clear the tail is not crimson. That's probably not going to get me too much junk either, because it's lore too. Uh, 
Uh, warped Clownfish. Traded its spikes for polka dots. Polka dots. Give me the wool, give me the wool, give me the wool, please give me the wool. Got him. Let me give this one more try, but if I don't get anything new, I'm going to move on either way. It's raining. Nope, just a second black wool. That counts as the potion. It was washed down there, but I think you couldn't place anything in it anyway, and it's probably just dark ocean again. Nice final dungeon. Where'd I put me boat? Ah, the Umbrella Man is here just in time to help me from the rain. Excellent. There's a way up. Ooh, very fancy. This place is Cherry Bloom. More food. Um, really shouldn't need to worry too much about inventory space. Don't have that much that's actually important. Somehow none of this is moist soil, despite being right next to the water. We're right up against the world border over here as well. Mm, I'm not entirely sure why I'm intending to climb this thing. out too well either way. Oop. Thanks for watching. See ya. Uh, anything up here?
Cherry Bloom Summit. It's a different pool of water loot table. Maybe purple then? Yeah. Sakura wool. Not a wall. Plus 50% HP in main hand, it looks like. Okay, no wall here. Just saplings. Okay, uh, there's another trident thrower someplace. Where else is left then? It's this tiny little island right here. There's stuff down there. There's a button. Uh. Ah. Is there something up there? Is that a cloud? Was there actually anything up there? There must be some reason to this. But with all the rain blocking my view, I'm not entirely sure what it is. Let's maybe wait for it to turn day and the rain to stop. And then I might have some more luck figuring out what I'm supposed to do with that, if anything. Presumably there's something. This will help. That'll help a lot. Just an ordinary cloud. Um, not sure what that's supposed to accomplish. Nothing down there. Hello, cat. Yes, hello. 
Greetings. Not catfish, just cats. Used to be the monument entrance. No, it's just a hole that makes you go whoosh. Brown wool, of course. few more places I know I've not gotten the wool from, but I might be running out of locations pretty soon here. Uh, do, 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 do. That's the black wool. Great. Pink wool. Brown wool. I'd better go and water the cat. One second. Cat watered. Uh, did I ever get the wool out of here? I forget. I think I did. I am uncertain. Drift wall? Yeah, I got that. Uh, how does one get in there? There's water in there. I definitely need to get in there, but how do I get in there? Uh, does this not actually take me to the sewer? It does. It does. How do I get to the other downwards path, then? Oh, 
I worry too much about that. We've got a couple of places up here. Okay, yeah, this is also just water plants. It's the same as inside. Mm, I'm just getting turbo calculators. Okay. goes back down to the pirate area. Wall there. Of water around here, are there? Um. Yes, in fact, radioactive vat. Nice. the only pool of water around here then because that's all just water treatment plant Press everything. Nope. How do I get into here then? That is the sewer. Is there a way in there from the sewer? Around this way. Uh, random skulk. One-way exit there. We've got more down here. Mm, this just looks like more radioactive vat, possibly. Sewer. Low-profile testing facilities. Experimental water testing. In case of leaks, please refrain from touching to prevent loss of limbs and or your mind. Oh. 
Yeah, this is just radioactive vat again, which I already have the wool from. Hello. What you see? There it is. Uh, above. Poison. Bow. Uh, trial water B638. Partial success. Flavor improved, but there's unwanted moving. Yeah, I prefer still water. Uranium breeding grounds. How do I get through there? Maybe best that I didn't. Okay. Unfortunately... I'm kind of out of ideas and where else to look at this point. Uh, blue. Green. Lime. I'm missing one wool. Light blue. Yep. There's definitely a lot of stuff that I've missed as well, because I've picked up the treasure magnet, which means there's a bunch of uh, fun junk and fish with fancy names that I've unfortunately not gotten from the last few pools of water. If I had to guess, I would say light blue is probably up near the top of this thing someplace. So I'll start making my way in that direction, but I don't know. And at this point I think I would consult the almanac. Especially because I have, like, one minute left before my usual stream time length. Yes, please. If and you don't mind. Hello, Enderman. Certain room in the water plants. Mm. Well, up here was kind of my guess, as uh, fits with the color scheme and all as well. It's not these. I don't think it's that, but that would be an absolutely minuscule biome. And I don't see any way in.
get up there? Is there anything up there? I don't think I can get up there either way. This room has light blue windows, but there's no water in it. Uh, maybe I need to be wearing the clipboard. Can I get through here with the clipboard? I have the clipboard. Let me in. That or I need a bright light. Do I have any bright lights? Do I have any non-bright lights? What's in here again? There are bacteria colonies. Yeah, you. That's not helpful. And these. Probably also not helpful. It means this. If the game deigns to let me down at any point. Jumping from here would be better. Uh, not really. Bizarre water column mechanics. Does anybody understand how they work fully? Yeah, I think this might be the the hardest one to find. At least it was for me, definitely. Great. And this is water plant dark room. Surprisingly light for a dark room, but I think that's because I turned on all the emergency levers.
Which one was yellow? It's not what I was looking for. This ball is more reliable. Goo goo fish. Ah, uh, yeah. If you didn't read the name of that dispenser properly, that could have uh, stumped you. I can see that one. I got it. Biome jank. Wah, wah. I'm glad I was able to beat this in one stream, just about. I know it took Sanders 2.2 hours, I think. I think they said. So I was hoping it was single streamable, and it was just about. I wonder if Sanders found the treasure magnet fishing rod. Anyway, uh, yep. Yeah. Close the map. Definitely very Shimmer Scale Waves inspired. Um, even if you didn't say it outright in the book, I can tell. Nice looking map though. Very nice looking map. Very aesthetically pleasing. Um... Definitely can't be judged by the ways you would judge a standard CTM. There is no combat. But the items are funny. The map looks great. Um, some nice looking areas. Some nicely themed areas. Which would make interesting themes for uh, areas in a proper map. All in all, very, very, very good map for April the 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that you enjoyed. Stay safe, and until next time, bye. Chelsea. See you soon.